So if we head back outside, I've also got some uh, completed friends of the Meledrum, so I've got some lottery points out of that. So yeah, this time we've got four quests, and the other two are vector quests and new regions. So inside the town, we don't need to actually fight anyone at the minute, but we just kind of need to sneak our way across to the other side as best as possible. Um, I'm surprised his spiders managed to spawn in over here. He's a bit far from home. Well, I'm going to have to put him. There's a wolf in here as well. The wolf is at least a bit more common around these parts. Right, so the signs of violence are in one of these houses around here. There we are. Or is it one of the other ones? I don't know. So we're kind of like on the southeast side of town, and I've pulled it, so he's going to interrupt me. You bastard. The Greenwood makes a lovely home, says the random guy patrolling around. Okay, that's the new surf. You uncovered a battered book with several leaves missing, buried in the foundations of an old building. Um, God damn it. So yeah, the, the area vectors you just uh, generically around the town. So until you start actually finding the bits, it becomes a bit more difficult to actually um, know where specifically you need to look. Alright. Let's kill Wolfie. So the second one, we're looking for signs of violence, and it's a blood spill in one of the ruins. Uh, there we are, it's over here, down here. It's just above the, uh, the lake. There's a massive pile of blood. So there we go. You have found some very old blood stains. Surely a gruesome scene took place here. And then the last thing we need is signs of the necromancer's influence, which is up on the hills. Which I don't think you can get to directly inside the town. You need to leave the town. You can either go exit by the southeast, or you can start climbing um, up the slope near the bridge. I'm struggling to get up the hill here. So you can climb up, up those stairs there near the bridge, climb up to the top, sort of up near Dannenglor, and then walk around the edges. Um, but we're after that idol over there. So we might need to just go a little bit higher. Just so we can make our way around. But once you find the other two bits, it should vector you anyway to the correct location now. So we just need to plonk down here near this totem. Which is pretty sinister looking. You have found a shrine of tribute to the necromancer. So that's that one ready to hand in. Um, I need to search for old weapons. Which is another thing we haven't done. So somewhere around here. Did we have to kill someone for it or not? I can't remember. I have no memory of this quest. I think this guy's near me, so I might end up just killing him anyway. Just cause. Come here, man. Oh god, he's knocked me horse down. So obviously not. Right, let's try pressing delete. Try and select a nearby inanimate object. No. Hmm. I get the feeling I'm doing something very noobish that I should know better. Dem Shake, I'll talk to you, sir. No. read the quest text, that's always a good start. Uh, you should search Alderheim carefully. Oh, hello. Massive flash of thunder outside. You guys might hear some uh, some thunder following this lightning. Um, it's not my runekeeper making the lightning, though. Uh, you should search Alderheim carefully for any telling scenes that may have lain hidden during your previous hasty observation of the town. Um, what do we got? Thank you. 
I know it's going to be in, in like in one of these ruins, and the moment I like walk over the ruins, it's then going to proc and suddenly uh, become a shiny object. I swear it's in like, one of these ruins. It's up here. This is going to irritate me now. I found a quest I can't remember how to do. It's none of you guys down here, is it? I think we definitely left the region yeah, by the flood. I'm eyeing that area suspicious. I probably should kill these guys because I thought they're just going to whittle me down while I'm running back. Around here. I swear it's something to do like, near this ruins. Something around here. This is going to irritate me. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something that I don't normally do, which is uh, consult the wiki. Okay, I'm back and it's between two houses. Probably not the two houses that I'm looking at. All right, right. Let's kill this guy quick. Should be back up the hill. So up here, and I think it's between these two buildings. God damn it! I'm sure it is between these two buildings, in which case that's like right outside the red bit, taking the, taking the piss of it. There we go, you found it as a part of discarded weapons out of sight. That is a pain in the arse. And I think that is what was causing a lot of problems as well, and confusion back in the day. Uh, but we found them now, so we're ready to hand that one in. So the last two bits of the quest we need involve going back up inside Dannenglor, round three. And we haven't even done the skirmish yet, which will be round four. Hopefully not round five if there's any more follow-up quests to this, but I think that's it from what I remember. Come on, climb the hill. Keep climbing. So we need the greedy moral thief, who I think is literally in like one of the back rooms. Uh, Priceless elf treasure, I think, is in the same room with him, in a box. Uh, and the three scouts in Dan and Glor are just going to be scattered around on the floor, so we're going to have to unfortunately fight through a lot of mobs just to rescue those guys. So, so yeah, a couple of these guys are down to the east. They are inside the walls, but in a lower passage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then one guy's at the back left, one guy's at the back right, and then the third guy's underneath where we need to go. So, we're going to have to fight these two. There's no avoiding this. We just murderise these two. Um, it is actually daytime in Mirkwood. It is morning. However, as you'll probably notice, but beyond the fact that there's a bit of lighter colours in the sky, it's still pretty dark and gloomy and miserable. And that's part of the course. Okay, right, critted you. I don't need to fight anyone at all this time, so really I want to be avoiding bollocks. <laughs> I pulled them. I want to be avoiding as many people as possible. I think this is just going to end badly. I'm going to try and run through this gap when it opens up a bit. Right. So behind us there should be someone down here. Go 
guy dies. There we go. Right, so where are we now? So yeah, someone should be to our southeast. So it should be down inside this room here. Let me poke our nose in. Oh god, there's quite a few people around here. Uh, no. Right, they're upstairs then. Yeah, they must, they must be upstairs in the room above us. Right. All two guys, but indeed two. Let's just go up. Not too bad a crit, but it's not a 4k yet. Can you see where I'm going at the minute? Right. Somehow I managed to avoid the patrolling mob and avoid the static mob that I probably ought to have pulled. Uh, another flash of lightning. You guys might hear that in a second. There is thunder, it is real life and not the ring keeper. Alright, so we we'll rest up this hill. There's something patrolling around behind me, which is probably quite likely to end up aggroing. Uh, which would not be nice, given that I badly need the health back. Thank you very much. Sustaining bulb. close for comfort there. Oh God. Oh, I thought I was about to run into something else there, but it's just a bat. Oh, I don't really want to fool you at the minute. Eh, probably should be alright. I can do the same bolt pretty much straight away. Keep the Keep your sustained bolt so you give me health back. Very nice. So we want to go through this door here. We're just going to pull a couple of guys. Uh, I'll just take these two, I'll play it safe, I don't want to overpour and end up dying and have to run all the way through the damn ruins again. That would be pretty soul destroying. Okay. So I need to be a bit more careful, you guys are starting to spank me a bit. Oh, hello. That sustaining gold took its time. Epic conclusion! Bang! 4k, very nice. Okay, so moving up the hill then. So, gonna have one guy guarding the gate. If we just sneak in. There we go. Oh, no, okay, don't wanna go over there. Let's just say, stay inside here, there's quite a lot of mobs. So we have Defiled Remains down there, Moral Thief is out there, so this is where the boss would be during the, uh, the skirmish. Um, so the bat won't aggro, let's have one saving grace. Right, drop the rock. Okay, they've stunned me, I've stunned them, but I've got a stun breaker, so I win. 4.3k, very nice epic conclusion there. There we go, I don't know why I did the EMP blast there. Um, so there's a dead elf. That's the first person we need. Alas, this elf breathes no more. And over here, we have the greedy moral thief, so it's going to be a typical 11k mob at the minute. Um, can't fall off the edge, so you don't have to worry about that. But when you uh, come in for the skirmish, this is actually the, the entrance that you can sneak in from. On that passage down there. So basically, they see you coming! Alright, finish you. I think you should drop the uh, shiny treasure I need. Yeah, there we go. Price this elf treasure. So. Now what we need then is the last two scouts. So one's in the northeast, one's in the northwest. So hopefully, if we get out of here pretty quick, then none of these guys have respawned. But obviously, the one that's patrolling around is in our way. If you wait two seconds, they should hopefully turn around. Saves us fighting them. Just give her a few seconds just to get out of the way. And then if we turn northwards. So luckily these are all bats, so they're not really a problem. Um, the two guys that we need are going to be 
both inside the main ruins area. So we're going to have to fight something to get inside. Um, so there's one there. I think the other one's literally on the far side. So I think you might actually be downstairs. We'll see. Out on that little tree balcony area. Um, well, we're going to have to fight you. Get this quickly before the patrolling one comes back. That's number two. And the last one is practically due west, so it's going to be downstairs outside. So we're going to have to fight these two on the way out. And I believe it's down there. Yeah, where they're kind of like two of them having a little chat over his dead body. Take out these guys first. Oh god, there's one behind me as well. That should teach me to look where I'm going. Drop a rock just to stun one of them for now. Always need a bit more time while one of them's not hidden. Even though I need to hit that one and wake it from its stun now anyway. 2.3k with the Palpatine fingers. The last one we need is here. So we'll murderize these guys. To the EMP blast. Oh, the other one's out of range. Staining bolt. They need 2k heal there. Pretty nice. This one's like determined to hit me with uh, no damage. I'm using the epic conclusion on the one that had like about 100 health left, but whatever. It's about making a statement, is what it is. Well, it seems to be rooted. Okay, that one's dead. Pick up the last defiled remains. Alas, this elf breathes no more, and then we can go to the haunted inn. I'm just going to initial coin it. So, back inside. Oh, hello. We've got a bit of a weird texture load there. That's a bit weird for a second. It looked like the walls were made of lava. Okay, handle these in. What do you need? How can I be of service? We're going to get a fourth well, quest to, to examine the blank gravestone a bit more closely. And the two guys up the top. What do you need? How can I be of okay. service? So, we've only got one more quest here. I think this might even be the, literally the last one. We'll see. So we need to run back down to the south, kind of near the crossroads, just east of them is where the, uh, the graveyard is. And we're going to double check that one a bit more closely. Um, I forgot I've got that other um, Casa loot box. That could have timed out. That would have made me sad. Even though I have uh, probably more boxes than keys at the moment, but whatever. Um, so, just over here, we shall inspect this a little bit closer. <laughs> I've summoned two of them. Well, it looked like I summoned two of them. Record Keeper of Alderheim. I should have stood with the four who resisted, but I did not. I watched it all happen. Only when they had perished did I feel the effects of the true evil that was at work in Alderheim. Too late did I record the truth. When they found what I had written, they came after me as well. I anticipated them. Here is a copy of the truth that was destroyed. Let this be my last effort on behalf of the true heroes of Alderheim, who resisted the evil corruptions of the Necromancer. Our blindness was our undoing. Yes, the Necromancer came and promised much, and we saw the opportunity for progress and prosperity. The four that stood against him attacked the altar, and we cut them down in the name of Dol Guldur. They cursed us as they fell. Ah, my oath is fulfilled. My redemption is nigh. So basically, yeah, the, the four graves that we read, they were suspiciously murdered, and uh, we, we pretended that they were not murdered. Um, I'm just saying we. I didn't participate in this treachery. Um, but yeah, that's why those guys are kind of like cursed and still walking the earth, because they were basically sided with Sauron. 
which as we know from the story never ends well. Um, grab this skull deposit since it's right in front of me looking tempting. But yeah that's the, the history behind this town. Vicious murder and support of the necromancer. So we'll go tell Prestidio about that and he's probably going to be uh, a bit disappointed. So back inside. And speak to you. Greetings. Could I speak with you a so moment? So we need to confront the condemned villager once more and basically tell him we know what you did. So back across the bridge. Again, I think it has to be the guy that's on like the southeastern side, uh, not any of uh, these other passive -y ones. So, we're gonna have, probably have to fight our way across, unless I can get a tactical ridge run here. I'm gonna pull this one. Yeah, I've already pulled them. Hop on this wall might draw him in a bit. I've got two of them chasing me. Kill these two guys pretty quick then. Right. Make sure I actually hit the right one, not the one that's just sitting there chilling and minding his own business. You had to do it, didn't you? Come on. Come out and face me. Face me. Palpatine fingers for 4k, that'll teach you. Alright, condemned villager, I know what you did last summer. No, it is impossible. That that story is no longer true. We destroyed that past and move on with our lives. Why do you disturb our long peace with evils better left buried? That tower cannot be allowed to endure. You shall pay dearly for your meddling, outsider. So we pissed off the ghost. Get out of here. It's just a uh, typical 11k semi loss. So I'll take him down and report back to Prestadir, I believe, afterwards. Get a good epic conclusion. No, oh, that was pretty limp. Now you're going to play hide in the dark. He's dead. Well, he was dead to begin with, but we've made him deader. Now we just need to go back to the Haunted Inn. So sneak past as many of these guys as we can. Back across the bridge. And I believe that's the last landscape quest. No my luck, there'll be more. We just need to do the skirmish to uh, finish things off for this sub region of Mirkwood. Alright, what have you got? Greetings. So he's happy, so that's the last bit here then, so there's nothing hiding around the side. 